Let's take SolidWorks weldment exercise and create this iron armchair. Now see we have two view, one side view and one uh, front view. Dimensions are in millimeter, ISO standard pipe 26.9 into 3.2 mm. This is already available in system that's why we are going to use this one. Okay, all corner pipe bending radius are 50 millimeter. Okay, there are many radius considered all 50 millimeter. Okay, let's check this outer sketch. Now let's start from here to here, height 450, then total length 800 millimeter, and angle here 105, and angle here 10 millimeter. Then we have to add this pipe 10 degree. And see this pipe going to attach here arc midpoint. This arc midpoint, this is going to attach here. Okay. Now here we will add this handle. Total length 180 millimeter. And uh, okay, the, this is uh, located at the same uh, location 20 millimeter from this uh, tangent edge. Okay. Now these three things this is armchair this is little chair and this is back portion now look inside view the back portion will we will extrude up to 600 millimeter but this center chair structure we will move only 430 see only 430 millimeter then this handle also 600 millimeter then there is a one more pipe you will see here this pipe also we are going to attach with the help of 3d sketch then we will add pipe pipe 26.9 into 3.2 let's try first front plane sketch activate here line tool okay make little taper okay make something like this okay let me do one thing Okay. Now let me try to establish distance total 800 millimeter, 450 millimeter. Select this line and select end point, and you will see this triad option. Select the upper one and create angle 10 degree. This is also going to make 180. And let's define angle between this 105. Okay. Here choose round fillet. Keep 50 millimeter and select these two ends. Okay. Cancel. Now let me select here line. Okay. Before going to choose line, make it something like this. Because here also we have a tangent now we need to connect midpoint of this arc select this midpoint is select this one select end point try it ten now this bottom 520 millimeter okay let's push inside distance from tangent edge this is the end point of this circle is going to be tangent point 20 okay now let me add here fillet also 50 okay so no need to apply anything okay now we have a fully defined sketch bottom make it construction line now we have three structure one this vertical then this back side and this arm let's go to extruded boss base keep end condition mid plane first 430 millimeter okay but here go to thickness let's say 50 i want to see okay Let's move this one outside. 
ओके बट वी नीड टू एक्सक्रूड दिस वन एंड दिस वन इन डिफरेंट वे टू सो हियर सिलेक्ट ओनली दिस वन ओनली दिस लाइन सिलेक्ट रेस्ट ऑल अनचेक ओके मेक दिस वन फोर हंड्रेड थर्टी मेक दिस वन अप साइड बिकॉज दिस बॉटम सरफेस वी आर गोइंग टू यूज ओके सो मेक दिस अप साइड फाइन अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द सेम स्केच एक्सट्रूडेड बॉस बेस ना ही इन सिलेक्टेड कॉन्टोर लेट मी सिलेक्ट दीज टू लाइन्स एंड रिवर्स दिस इज गोइंग टू इन साइड दिस इज गोइंग टू आउट साइड ओके एग्जैक्टली अनमर्ज रिजल्ट keep end condition mid plane and these length 600 mm 50 mm you will see make sure unmerge result okay fillet constant type fillet radius 50 mm let me select these two now if you have different body you can't select this edge see i am not able to select this one see so say okay again choose fillet now this time this body this body let's say this one this one and uh, this bottom edge okay the last one select this back panel okay that's fine now i am going to use 3d sketch okay now select this inside okay convert entity select this inside face then inside of this face and outside of this face this is how i want to convert say okay now select this all three bodies hide again choose line and connect tangent point to tangent point select this bottom two lines make it construction line okay let's try go to weldments structural member iso standard and here i'm going to choose pipe and this is the size 26.32 this is available so i took this one now let me choose first group so select this line and you have to select continuous if you skip middle one see i'm not able to select so select continue okay this is one group select new group in new group i am going to choose let's say this one you have here also you have to select continuous line don't skip otherwise it's difficult to select see if i am going to select this one not able to so i am going to continue with continuous line okay this is one more group is completed select here new group one Two, three, four, five. Okay. Then again, choose new group, and this time select this line. Okay. Now see here. Now let me select the line hide. Okay. Now let me choose here. go to direct editing delete or keep body now delete body select these three bodies where does those bodies cut list fillet 1 fillet 3 fillet 2 okay these bodies then select this one see the middle one 
these three don't delete this one say okay see now you will see at bottom there is a support or you can say rubber grip how much this one offset 5 mm depth 10 mm but first we have to make level this pipe this is not level okay then we will add this rib there are how many ribs one two three four total seven rib one center rib 30 millimeter and rib position you will see 30 millimeter from center of pipe so thus radius also going to be 30 millimeter and depth thickness 5 millimeter rib corner fillet 1 millimeter rib going to connect connects from center to this pipe see here okay now go to weldments trim extend bodies now select corner type trim extend body select one two three let me select the now see these edges are not perfectly aligned so here select face plane top plane now see these extra portion we need to remove so here these options keep no just click and discard keep no see this portion going to fented it means this is going to trim similarly do other side discard discard these two options going to discard and from here it is going to extend say okay see now this is flat end cap now keep cap outside 10 millimeter okay let me select first all four faces okay let me choose the view see 10 millimeter thickness ratio offset value available how much offset value 5 millimeter but outside so reverse direction look say okay that's it okay do one thing i'm going to apply color so it looks more visible that's what our aim okay this is the rgb distance okay now let me choose again front plane sketch now make it okay now select line connect from here to let's say up to here come down select somewhere here then come to here if you go back to the point and see the line is going to convert into arc now select this line convert entity okay make it construction i will tell you why we need this okay again line no not line uh, apply at center point now select this point tangent okay let me draw one center line make sure applied at center line now select both the line construction line and main line parallel smart distance 30 millimeter this is important dimension okay line make it connect from here to here tangent this point make sure tangent okay now come down horizontal fillet 
50 millimeters select this okay cancel now here also choose trim entity keep trim entity as construction and delete this inside line extend up to this outer surface rib okay i think we now select this line convert entities again make this line construction line trim entity keep con trim entity as construction line i want to co convert this line into construction line see this is going to construction line so these go going to extend up to here now let's check okay fine extruded boss base keep mid plane 30 millimeter thin feature mid plane flow material 5 millimeter both side no need to hear otherwise uh, let's check first unmerged result okay now this portion you can filled with uh, welding so no, no need to fill this one okay before going to do this let me apply fillet one millimeter constant type fillet i am going to select this edge uh, not edge face both side face okay linear pattern now direction one let me choose this edge gap make 55 okay we forget to mention this this is important actually four number of patterns now direction two i'm going to select this see the arrow change 55 4 and uh, come down choose body select this body see we selected 4 4 so this is going to move okay ah uh, okay cancel this you okay we done see yeah we done don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks now you can change end cap edit and make the color black so it looks more visible that's even though body color you can change let's say this one 